Hi folks, thank you so much for joining me today. My name's Greg, this is All About Candles. I'm your self-proclaimed Canadian candle connoisseur and today I have a review for you from Bath & Body Works. This is Vanilla Coconut Surf. Ooh, you guys, I really liked this candle. This was a nice one and I enjoyed this label too. This candle looked really pretty when it was burning. This was one of the earliest candles that came out, I wanna say for spring. This came out in a collection with Endless Weekend and Palo Santo really, really early in the year. Um, and it was the one that everybody was kind of after at the time and I do feel like it lived up to the hype. This was a really nice one. Uh, the scent notes are Sweet Vanilla, Coconut Waves, and Beach Wood. Now, to me, this is a gourmand candle. Um, vanilla Coconut Surf, it, uh, it is not a... It's not like Surf Shop. You know how we just got Surf Shop? I was kind of expecting this candle to be more like Surf Shop, but with coconut. Um, but this is a straight up like <laughs> coconut gourmand bakery fragrance. They could have called this coconut pie, coconut macaroons. It's kind of just another example of Bath & Body Works almost sort of hiding their gourmand fragrances on us in one way or another, which is really weird. It all has to do with marketing and like what people are buying right now. And Vanilla Coconut Surf, is, although I think it's a little bit of a misleading name, I think the scent notes are a little bit misleading as well with that beach wood. Sweet Vanilla, Coconut Waves, Beach Wood. I'm not getting a ton of woodiness from this. What I'm getting is um, coconut cookies like baking in the oven. That's just me. I have seen some other reviews out there about this candle um, by people that have a slightly different opinion than what I'm giving you right now. But my experience is that this could have just easily been marketed as a straight up coconut gourmand, but it wasn't. It's still here and I loved it. It's really nice. There is even, there is even, I get a little bit of like a starchiness to it, which really sort of gives it that bakery note. However, I will say that I think that this is like a coconut gourmand candle that people who don't necessarily love bakery gourmand type fragrances would like. Um, it's really, really good. And it was a great performer too. I'd say that the strength and throw on this was uh, probably a 7.5. Um, maybe it got to an eight uh, in a medium space. This was mostly in my bedroom. So in a medium to large space, I'd say that this was hitting at like a 7.5. Um, it definitely had a presence to it, did not have to sniff around for it. It was there and it was lovely. Uh, it burned pretty nicely. I was absolutely getting a little bit of teeny tiny wicks and puny little flames towards the end of it. Uh, a little bit of discoloration. I did burn it all the way down to the wick nickels right here. I do often find that once you have burned down to the point where you can see the wick nickels on a Bath & Body Works candle, this type of discoloration is almost bound to happen. But for the most part, it was a really nice, clean, even burn. And I could smell it and I really liked it. I did repurchase it. I have one backup in my stash, which I will probably save until next summer. And I would highly recommend it to you. Um, if you happen to see this on the shelf somewhere, pick it up and give it a sniff because it does smell um, very similar burning as it does when it's cold. And it's a great performer. So I really do recommend it. Vanilla Coconut Surf, everybody. Ugh, oh, happy summer. I really have been enjoying getting into my coconut candles <laughs> at this point in June. Really enjoying it. Uh, thank you so much for watching me today. What are some of your favorite coconut candles? Let me know in the comments below. And if you could hit me up with a like, if you feel like subscribing, that would make my day. And until next time, let's burn some candles and bitch about it. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Bye-bye now.